So how exactly does a thermoelectric cigar humidor or any thermoelectric device actually work? What's going on everybody? I'm Kevin from Cigar Prop and are you ready to get your science on? So since my last video that, that I did on, on the New Air uh, uh, Coolador here, um, I've had some people message me, how does, it, how does it work? How does it get it so cold? This can get the internal temperature down to 52 degrees. How does it do that without a compressor, without Freon, without anything else? And I'm like, well, it's thermoelectric. It runs off of, of a Peltier device. And I've just linked some, some YouTube videos on that. And I'm like, all right, let me see if I can put together some stuff and make a Peltier device um, or make a thermoelectric cooler with a Peltier device, kind of demonstrating how it works. So this uh, um, winador here, coolador, cigar humidor to be more precise, um, this is it. This is the device that keeps it uh, cooling. Now, I just want to interject here. You're going to have to bear with me. My camera is, it's, as you can see, is a whole completely different setup. My monitor is over there. So occasionally I'm going to look off to the side. And the angles, just, I wanted to kind of get everything here. A nightmare. Nightmare getting this set up. Over an hour getting this set up. So went on Amazon and I bought some stuff to make a, um, a thermoelectric cooler to see if I can demonstrate it. I haven't tried any of this yet. I just know how this works. And unfortunately, I don't have an adjustable uh, power supply. I have one of these big ass car battery jump starters that I'm hoping is not going to blow this up uh, on camera. Um, I'm pretty sure this will just melt. It won't blow up um, if something happens. So. I got that going for me. So basically inside this little ceramic thing is a bunch of dissimilar metals. C current goes in, comes out, one side gets ice, ice cold, the other side gets lava, lava hot. So that's what we're going to check here. I think I've gotten everything. Like I said, this is going to be most likely one shot, one take. So first thing we're going to do, let me just make sure that's out of your way is we have a heat sink so we need to get this mounted on a heat sink because inside the um uh, the cooler door most likely i'm not tearing mine apart is another heat sink on this side so you'll have this sandwich between two of them um this side all the hot air because just to let you know air air conditioning in your car in your house does not cool your surroundings it does not at all I'm ASC certified in automotive air conditioning. The first thing they teach you on day one is air conditioning or, or anything like that unheats an area. So it doesn't cool down your car, it unheats it. So inside your car, you kind of have something similar to this called an evaporator. So you'll have another device here. It draws in the warm air, transfers it to this, and then transfers it to this side. On this side, you'll have a fan, that's what this is, blowing this hot air, cooling this down, which is cooling this down, which is drawing in more heat, and it's getting rid of it, and that's how it works. So, let's see, hopefully we got everything to start this off with. Come on. Is this, oh, I think there's like a heat shrink thing on here. This tiny, this is, um, this is a um, silver solder. There we go, I should have checked that first. Same thing you'd use when you're soldering a um, something to a motherboard and a computer. So all we're going to do is put just a little bit, and that was actually probably way too much on this. So we're going to spread this around. I'm hoping that'll stick. I got some just in case which I'll probably I'll just use. And actually, I can't use that because how am I going to put that on here? So this would normally be bolted down. So, basically, so what we'll do is we'll put a little bit more on top of here. 
we've got the only piece of aluminum that, that I could find. Um, Cigar Medics Ashtray, CigarMedics.com. Uh, Cigar Medics is not a sponsor of this, um, but I think uh, uh, Luigi, the owner, would be quite interested in my little experiment here. Um, so that that's what we've got. So in order to to get this going, because you don't want to, I, I I know for a fact you don't want to get this plugged in without your heat sink. And we're using a dish of water um, right now because I don't I don't have a I didn't have a fan to to put on that heat sink and that will burn up a Peltier device quick fast and in a hurry and I'm hoping I'm hoping I got this the right way did I all right we're gonna we're gonna assume we're gonna find out real quick whether whether I have this right or not so what we're gonna do now is just I got my temp gun here so right now 81 degrees is inside here so <laughs> we'll see what we'll see what happens here all right so we got the the, the negative hooked up so I am just gonna touch this real quick to see either I'm gonna burn my finger all right so I have it I have it working So already, let's, uh, so the aluminum underneath is at 80 degrees, and we're already at 64, 63, so we're dropping on the aluminum inside here. So inside the, the humidor here, obviously, you know, all the warm air that's in the humidor would be, a, is going to be attracted to this uh, cooling uh, fin, cooling plate, transferred through the Peltier device, and then transferred to the bottom heat sink, and then where another fan would be dissipating that heat. So we'll see how we'll see how long, see how, how how cool we can get this. So we're at 58 degrees. So we'll just uh, we'll just keep it going here. Let's just um, we'll just keep it rolling and see how see how cool we can get this. All right, so we're back. It's been about five minutes. I've been taking the temperatures uh, about every minute, and I think we've we've plateaued. So we've got the heat sink is at I don't know if you can see it 90 degrees. I can't tell. Um, and then we've got the aluminum plate. Let's kind of come around there. At the best we got was 47 degrees. Um, and that, that's, how, that's how it works. That's how a thermoelectric humidor works. I'm going to unplug this. I just don't think, because I should have, because I got some water droplets in here, I should have gotten that water um, to, to freeze solid. Um, but I just can't get enough can't get enough temperature on this to get let's just stat let's just hit the uh, come around here it warmed I got a 40 I got a 20 I got a 28. Oh, I did get. Let's, let's just put some water droplets around there. Let's just wait another minute. All right, let me disconnect this. And let's see if we can if we can pull this out, pull this off or up. Ooh, boy, that's a that water is getting rather warm. And you may not be able to tell, but that is ice. We actually got it to freeze. How cool is that? Um, now this was a very cheap, cheap Peltier device. Um, I think I paid like 10 bucks on Amazon, and actually only one corner of it actually worked. Um, so if you, 
if you want to do something cool, you can definitely research. You can make um, um, uh, coolers, take an igloo cooler, make it into a, uh, a, a something that you can plug into 12 volts in your car. Um, there, there's lots of cool things. Just make sure you get a really good Peltier device. Um, I don't know the difference between good and bad ones. Um, you just have to read the reviews on Amazon. This one did not get really good reviews on Amazon, but I figured I was only using it for demonstration. I mean, I, I don't want to spend a whole lot of money here just to throw all of this stuff away. But, I don't know. Just wanted to make a quick video. Show you how a Peltier, or a thermoelectric cooler, works using a Peltier device. That's it. Grab a couple heat sinks. Grab one, do some research, lots of cool things that you can make um, uh, with this, and um, uh, the, the sky's the limit, but I'm not here to show you how to make anything, I'm just here to demonstrate how a thermoelectric cigar humidor, like my new air model here, how it works without any loud compressor, without um, any Freon that um, uh, endangers the environment, why this thing is so unbelievably light, and that's that's how they do it with this tiny now I don't know they make bigger ones and smaller ones but uh, but with this this tiny little Peltier device that you can pick up off Amazon throw some 12 volts to it and you can essentially make a refrigerator you can make a, ref a freezer you can make any you could build something like this with a small uh, igloo cooler fill it with some with some ice keep it on your desk you have a little air conditioner on your desk or in your garage um, I'm not gonna show you how to do that because I probably do it wrong that would burn your house down my insurance doesn't cover things like that so all right cats and kittens that's all I got hopefully this has been informative um, just kind of showing you you know something cool a little bit of the uh, the science geek in me want to do a uh, uh, to do something I haven't done in a long time and uh, Let's get my science on. So, all right, cats and kittens, uh, that's all we got. Uh, make sure you give your uh, cigars the thermoelectric cigar humidor that they deserve.